Hello and welcome to Dome Keeper. And if you would like to check out the game, there is a link in the description. This is the preview build, and uh, you can actually play this game on the 27th of September. That is when it's coming out. And otherwise, we're going to just jump straight on in, get into a new game. This is a rogue light uh, kind of survival game, as far as I can tell. I have been watching this on Twitter for quite some time. I have very much been wanting to play it and thankfully I am now able to. So uh, this actually gives us, wait a minute, okay, choose our loadout. All right, so we now get the opportunity to choose our loadout. So let's have a look-see here. Okay, well, obviously we can't use the sword dome yet, so we're just gonna go for the laser dome, and we have a keeper. So this is basically your character, a skilled, efficient professional with excellent mining skills. Sounds good. We also have the shield, but there are a bunch of others that are going to be unlocked as we play the game. And we have Relic Hunt or Prestige. All right, find the relic buried deep and bring it back to your dome. That sounds good to me. And we're going to be playing on normal. I don't really want to play on hard, all things considered. I think that's going to be a bit too difficult for me. But yeah, let's start and see what transpires. And uh, as far as I am aware, basically what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to build up your base you're going to have to go mining. There are finite resources in the game that you are going to have to use to power certain systems in your base and to protect it from monsters. So that is going to be a uh, that's going to be one of the the most uh, most difficult things for us to do. So you can see here, I'm actually controlling this right now. Just go straight into the game and you can interact with things like this. Battle? Oh, wait a minute. Okay, hello there. All right. So Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, right. Okay, okay. So this basic okay, so that means that when when there when there are enemies we will be able to use our turret to attack things. And this is our upgrade system right here as well. And um yeah, I actually have a preview build that allows me to unlock absolutely every single thing in the game. So if we wanted to experience the later game, then obviously we could do that, but Personally, for me, I actually really appreciate the fact that I can either do that or I can do this and I can show you the early game. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I personally prefer that. Oh, by the way, they do say that it is it's 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 recommended but not required to play with a gamepad. So if you do have a gamepad, maybe you're going to prefer using that instead of the keyboard and mouse. I'm personally using the keyboard and mouse at the moment. You can see here we don't have any resources to be able to unlock any of these things from the research tree so there's no real point in me looking at this so we're just going to go away from there and is there anything else i can upgrade no there's, there's nothing else i can interact with either and now look at this now we're going now we're going mining and you can literally go and you can mine pretty much anywhere you want and i have no idea where i'm going so i'm just randomly doing things ah we have to hit space to actually pick things up oh hello there okay okay we actually have to go <laughs> oh yes, carried resources slow you down. And we're going to have to go back here and place that into our little grinder thing. And that then gives me resources to be able to upgrade my base. As far as I'm aware, that is exactly how that goes. Because I don't know whether you notice I don't know whether you noticed, but that was basically one of the currencies that were uh, present in the research tree. So I'm very, very interested to see if I can uh, do something with that. I'm actually wondering whether I, um, whether I'm going to need to do something very specific here. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to go back to the research tree right now. I'm not entirely sure if there's a time limit or anything like that while we're doing things here. But yeah, as you can see, I now have four of these and now I can upgrade something. So for example, displays the time until the next wave of hostile life forms attack. Yeah, I think that's probably going to be pretty useful. Um, it's all a counter that shows how many waves you've survived. That sounds pretty fun, but we're actually going to go for... Um, we're going to go for the inventory one, I suppose, so that we can actually see down in the... Uh, down at the bottom left how many resources we actually have. And that's actually one of the cool things about this game. It just continually adds additional UI elements and various other things that are going to tell you exactly what you need to know about your game experience and, and what you can actually do with it. I really appreciate that kind of thing. And uh, what's this? What is this? I have no idea what this is, but apparently it's something. All right, we're going <laughs> to... 
<laughs> we're gonna drag it back to our base and uh, bear in mind this is a game made by two people yeah it's only two people oh hello I'm, I'm getting attacked I had no idea I was getting attacked okay okay that is that is problematic okay so we're gonna we're, okay we can pick a we can pick a gadget adds a machine under the dome that slowly produces water through condensation that might be cool uh, adopt a lovable creature that loves to dig. Carry it into the mine and drop off where you want it to work. Check back to wake it up when it goes to sleep on the job. All right, um, I'm thinking we'll go for Drillbert. I mean, how can we say no to Drillbert, right? Okay, so I'm going to have to go over here. And we're going to have to attack this thing. Because this thing is literally going to murder me. Okay, whew, that was close. Try to find some cobalt. You can repair your dome with it. It is rare. <laughs> it is rare and finite. I had no idea I was being attacked. And now look at me. Now look at my, my dome. My dome is looking really, really shabby right now. Okay, not not looking forward to that. Okay. Well, at least we know when the uh, when the monster, monsters are going to come back. So I'm actually just going to drop off Drillbert down here. Um, there we are. There he goes. <laughs> <laughs> that is very cute. Okay, so is he gonna? Oh, he's gonna—he's gonna come down here. Oh, okay. Can you can you go and drill then, sir? Thank you. Okay, he's gonna go and do his own thing. I'm gonna go down here myself. Oh, what's this? What is that? Is that cobalt? I'm not entirely sure, but there are gonna be more enemies coming relatively soon. So I'm gonna go back up here. I'm really low in HP, so this is real bad. This is real, real bad. Okay, uh, can I... Oh, it's paused at the moment. Okay, thank you. Whew. Um, yeah, I definitely need it to be paused right now. Thank you very much. Okay, so Electro Blast Overcharge Shield. Oh, wow, these are really cool. Unfortunately, I don't have any more of the, um, the first resource. Uh, so I'm not going to be able to do anything with that. Uh, I, I now have the upgrade for Drillbert as well. I now have upgrades for him too. Okay, that's actually super cool. Um, I'm going to go into battle mode and then we're just going to literally kill whoever we can because I'm... I, I think I might actually be dead. I'm not entirely sure because, as I say, I wasn't aware that I was being attacked even because I was just... I was kind of... I was a bit stupid about it. Okay, let's try and do damage. Oh, okay. Okay. It's not even... That's not That's not too bad. No, that's not too bad. All right, all right. Okay, so there were two enemies this time. Two enemies this time in comparison to before when there was just one. But uh, if we can get some more cobalt, that would be wonderful. So let me see if I can just go off in a different direction here. Actually, let's go and track, uh, check on Drillbird real fast because I'd like to see what he's doing. Okay, he's fine. He's, he's not even sleeping. He's not even sleeping. Perfect. Okay, let's get some of this. There we go. Oh, yeah, it's taking me a long time to drill through this uh, this ore right here. And it seems like that is very much on purpose because, of course, we're going to need to get upgrades for our drill. And Drillbird has now um, become tired, which is not particularly good. And there are enemies. Oh, no, I can't. I can't take five things. All right. Well, five things would be uh, way too heavy, I suppose. Okay, so enemies are actually coming really, really soon. I'm super worried about this. I feel like I have already lost because I made such a massive error at the start. Oh, well, never mind. Let's see what we can do. Maybe I'm going to be okay. Uh, okay, battle. There we go. Okay, where, am, where, am I, where, where are they coming from? Where are they coming from? Oh, oh, they're flying. Are you serious? Okay, he's dead. That was That was easy. I wonder whether headshots make a difference. I don't think so, right? I don't think so. Okay, so yeah, we could just exit from here, and now we can just go back down. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm not going to go back down because I want to get uh, I want to get some more upgrades, please. Okay, whew, let me see now. What can we do? Um, yeah, I'd like to get this. That's going to allow me to see. Okay, so my dome is is just past halfway HP, so it's almost um, <laughs> almost destroyed. Uh, that's a great start, isn't it, for me? All right, so let's have a look see here. What else can I get? I can get the overcharge shield. Use water to manually overcharge your shield so it absorbs more damage in the next wave. That's pretty good. Increase the uh, dig strength of Drillbert. Can I increase my own dr dig, dig strength? Yeah, I can. But I don't have enough for that anymore. Okay. <laughs> okay, that doesn't really help me that much. Okay, so I'm going to go for... 
Treats grow at the nest under the dome, take them to Drillbit who will happily gobble them up to get energized and that's going to increase his speed. Drillbit will work for much longer before getting sleepy, drilling 300 hits. Wow, that actually sounds really good. Uh, hmm. Yeah, let's do that one. And then we will go down and we'll go and see him. And we'll see what's going on with him. But uh, yeah, anyway, as I was saying, this is developed by two people. That is published by Raw Fury. Raw Fury is one of my favorite publishers. And I'm very, very pleased to see that they are picking some wonderful, wonderful developers to work with. And um, yeah, let me wake him up. There we go. And now he's going to do his thing. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Get, get, Come on, get out of there. Okay, there we go. Is he is he going to do his own thing? Yeah, he, he is going to do his own thing now. Okay, so I'm just going to take this resource back up here. I'd actually like to do some drilling myself. Oh yeah! Oh yes! Come on! Come on! Come on! Can we can we pick up some of this? Yes! There we go. Okay, this is going to be really really useful for us. Maybe I can actually get an upgrade for my laser so that we can defend just that much better. That would be wonderful. Okay, that's all. Uh, that's all absorbed. Let's go into the uh, into the upgrades right now. Okay, so let's actually have a quick look here. Um, what do we want? What do we want? Okay, I want. Improves the power of your laser, but it will move slower while firing. Um, yeah, I think that seems pretty good. Add targeting lasers. Uh, add targeting lasers. Add targeting sights to the laser, showing where it is aiming. You know what? I'm. I can't take this. I can't take the strength one. I need one more. I don't have enough. I don't have enough to do that. Oh, now I am. I'm cursing myself. Increases how much damage the dome shield can absorb. I mean, I, can, I technically could go for that. But I don't really want to. Um, I'm going to wait, actually. I am going to wait. I'm going to take a chance on this, all right? going to take a chance on this and see whether I can actually um, win this next wave just through pure, uh, pure wonderful, wonderful damage that I'm able to deal. Maybe I'm going to be able to do it. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, let's go. How much damage does this thing actually do when it hits me? Not even that much. Oh, my shield is actually working pretty nicely, actually, there. Okay, wonderful. Okay, so we're done with that. Okay, that um, that didn't go too badly. My shield is going to regenerate over time, I believe, right? Yeah, it seems to do that. So let me take these three things up, and that's going to increase my drill strength. And that will then allow me to hopefully destroy these enemies just that much faster, which is exactly what we need. Thank you very much. Okay, so what's this? No, I don't want that. Don't want this. Uh, we can increase the the amount of health that we have, which might actually be kind of useful. But I'm going to go for the power on the laser. Um, and then I don't have anything else, pretty much. I mean, I could go for treats. Uh, treats might be kind of useful. Mm, yeah, let's go for treats. There we go. All right. Yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do. Okay, I'm going to go over to where Drillbit is and just see what he's doing. Okay, he seems to be absolutely fine. He needs more drill strength, in my opinion. More drill strength would be really, really useful for him because then he could go through those purple areas just that much faster. Um, but as it stands, obviously, yeah, we, uh, we don't really have the ability to do that right now so that's kind of sad but um yeah uh, there are more enemies coming anyway all right i wasn't able to find any more resources unfortunately but yeah okay so we are good let's do this i'm really really hoping that this upgrade is going to do some nice damage and then we'll be able to defend against these enemies easily enough oh that's some na that that's some nice damage nice Nice. Okay. They're coming from both they're coming from the same side. That's perfect. Oh, now that is that is good. I like it. I like it. All right. That really made a huge difference in my opinion. And uh can I can I take this? Ah, there we go. Yes. Drillbert, I have something for you. Yes, I have something for you, sir. Oh, look at look at him. He's doing some he's doing some good work for me right now. Drillbert is actually keeping us afloat right now because without him doing the drilling i think we would have some pretty big issues okay there we go i gave him the treat 
uh, I hope. Didn't I give him the treat? I think I did, right? And we're just going to go through here. I'm literally just going to go this way so that I can make a bit of a shortcut. And then we're just going to take uh, four of these things. I think four seems like a decent number because it doesn't... I mean, it slows me down a lot, as you can quite clearly tell. But it is a pretty good number to go up with because most upgrades, most initial upgrades are around four to six, as far as I can tell. So that is yeah, decent enough, I guess. Come on now. There we go. All right. Can we get something? Yes, we can. We can get some drill strength. That's the point. We can get some drill strength or we can wait. We could get the aiming line. I don't really, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't really think the aiming line is that useful. I think the laser moving faster, that is really useful. So I'm actually going to want to try and get that. So I'm just going to go for battle and then we'll see if I can defend against this wave. Let's see where they're coming from. I'm going to take out the flying units first if I can. There we go. Okay, I've got to, I've got to move, got to move, got to move. There we are. Take out this one. There we go. Okay, my shield has gone down. It's actually... You know what? <laughs> Me losing so much HP on that first wave, I would have been able to survive for a very long time otherwise. That that actually uh, <laughs> is really really shocking because I would have I would have had a lot of um, a lot of resilience at this point. Still, I probably would be at like what ninety percent or something, maybe ninety five percent. Oh well, never mind. You live and learn, I suppose. Yes, indeed. Okay, so now we have this. This is perfect, because now what I can do is I can go for the laser moving faster, which is really good. And now I can just get out of here. And we can go and take the treat. Going to take the treat to uh, Drillbert. And then I think that's probably going to be all I can really take him, to be honest. Seems like he has... Wow, he has really done a number on, uh, on this tunnel. There you are, sir. There we are, I gave him that, and I'd like him to actually go somewhere else, if at all possible. Um, but I think he goes to the lowest level. Can it, Can he go there? Yeah, is he going to go there? I'm actually not entirely sure what he's going to do, but whatever the case, it's fine. As long as he is doing something, that is all we really care about, because otherwise... <laughs> we're not going to get anywhere because I'm I'm just running back between him and the enemies. Look at how fast my laser moves now. Wow, that's really, really useful. There we go. Destroy this. Thank you. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, follow it, follow it. Nice. All right. Okay, perfect. There, the treat is not yet not yet grown so that's absolutely fine we can move down here i think i will be dying soon unfortunately but um i obviously can't really do much about that and maybe i should try drilling somewhere up here because this is basically darkness at the moment oh hello oh drillblet has actually fallen asleep over here i'd like him to actually go somewhere else so i'm thinking maybe i can um maybe i can just get can I pick him up? Yeah, I can. Okay, let's pick this stuff up as well. We're going to take this back with us. And then we're just going to put Drillbird on the top here. And hopefully he's going to go across rather than falling down again. I'm not entirely sure if that's what he does. I don't know what his behavior is uh, is like at the moment. But hopefully he's going to just do that. Yes, he is. Okay, that's great. Look at that. He's actually found some some blue gems as well. What, what is that? I don't know what that is. It's not cobalt, but it's the other kind of stuff. So that's going to be really useful for us. And... I've brought two resources. That's not terrible, but it's definitely not great. So, yeah, well, we'll see what we can do. Now we've got more enemies coming. Let's do this. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Where are, we, where are they coming from? They're, oh, okay, that's a lot of enemies. Okay, hello. Okay, they are, uh, wow, they, they are just exploding themselves on, on the dome. That is not particularly nice of them. Okay, yeah, I think I'm, I, as I say, I think I'm probably done because I'm taking damage every single time. 
and I don't think I can really survive that much more. So I'm probably going to have to do something uh, like restart. <laughs> but obviously, this is a roguelite, so maybe we're going to get some stuff. You know, maybe we're going to get some stuff after that. Okay, I'm just going to do this. There we go. And then he's going to go and... Uh, oh, he's, he's still sleeping. Really? How do we actually make him... Uh, wake up a little bit. Maybe we just have to let him sleep a little. I'm not sure. Just going to take these things, even though I need the other resource more. Yeah, I think he's just going to sleep a little bit and then he'll get back up and he'll start drilling again, I guess. I'm not entirely sure, but for me, I need to get back. I need to get back because the turret is waiting for us and the enemies are very much wanting to kill us right now. So this is the best I can do. Okay, well, uh, let's just hope that there aren't too many of those really, really small ones. They are going to be kind of difficult for me to deal with. There we go. Let's get, let's get this one. Ooh, okay. Yep. Uh, next wave, next wave it is. I believe that is when we will succumb to our wounds. And that just, that, that kind of, that kind of shows you, that kind of shows you, you know, that is what you have to do. You have to be very, very careful about things. I'm going to give him the treat. He's still just chilling. Okay. What if I, what if I take him over here? Maybe, uh. Maybe we can take him there. Is he going to drill there? Yeah, he is going to drill there. Oh, okay. So it seems like we may maybe just need to take him into a different area and then he will actually start drilling again. I'm not entirely sure. But maybe he needs a little bit of time to just regenerate his, his energy or something like that. I don't know. But uh, yeah, we're maybe not going to have enough time to drill this and then go back with the resources that we have. So I will probably just take two. Because that doesn't seem to slow us down too much. But bear in mind, if I had taken the upgrades, because obviously, let's face it, if I hadn't taken so much damage in the first initial wave, I would have been able to uh, upgrade my backpack. I could have upgraded my drill strength. I could have done all that wonderful stuff. And then we would have been, um, we would have been pretty happy actually with that. And we also could have upgraded our shields, which also would have been really, really nice. But yeah, well, whatever the case, I'm going to go down. I'm going to give Drobert his little treat. Hello there, sir. There we are. And I'm actually going to take him over here. There we go. And then he's going to go off and do his own thing. So, and uh, that's actually something else as well. Technically, if we had gotten some more resources and gotten Drillbert, I would have been able to then upgrade him and his drill strength as well, and we would have been able to uncover even more of the area and gained even more resources as a result. So that really would have made a huge difference. But that's exactly what happens when you play a game like this. When you play a roguelite, you're going to have these learning experiences. You're going to be able to gather more knowledge about what you should have or could have done at that exact moment in time and you learn and you become better the next time around and that's the beauty of it and for me i feel like this game gives me that Ooh, just one more run oh let, let me just try that again you know let me try this and that and this and that and, you know that kind of thing really makes a pretty huge difference okay so let's have a look see here mm, i don't have 10 so i can't increase my I uh, can't increase with the power of my uh, my laser or move move speed or anything like that. Oh, <laughs> okay, that's cool. Install a swivel head into the laser that automatically corrects your aim if it comes close. Okay, now that is amazing. I would love to have something like that. You even have a double laser right here. Installs a second laser turret but splits your firepower between them. Wow, that sounds fun. 
Whoa, okay, yeah, there's a whole bunch of really, really cool things right here, but okay. Anyway, uh, triggers an active combat ability that creates a deadly field effect around your dome for a short time. I can actually get that if I want. Increases how much damage the dome shield can absorb. I might want to take that. Mm, yeah, I'm actually going to take that. I, I, it might seem like a bit of a boring upgrade, considering I have um, other things that I could potentially go for, but... It is, in my opinion, pretty necessary. I think it's going to be really, really useful for us. I'm actually going to get Drillbit's, uh, you know, drill speed or drill strength as well. And he's going to then be able to do some, some nice stuff. All right. So as you can see, look at my shield strength. My shield strength has increased dramatically from that. And that's going to mean that maybe I'll be able to survive yet another wave. My drill also has the ability to stun, which is very nice. There we go. Destroyed all those guys. I uh, think I'm probably okay. Yep, I am okay. For one more... <laughs> for one more wave. That is... Oh, that is not good. That is not good at all. And uh, now, here's the thing. Bear in mind, you don't necessarily have to research any of these things. For example, the first initial upgrades, like for example, the wave timer... You don't actually need to take the wave timer if you are, let's say, more experienced a player in the game. You don't need to take that wave counter because maybe you know the approximate time that a wave is coming. Maybe you know exactly what kind of actions you can take in the time that you are given. So, in other words, you would save some resources as a result. And that's exactly what I was talking about with the whole knowledge thing. You know, gaining knowledge, gaining the the know-how and the uh, the ability to decide on what you want to do, when you want to do it. And look at how fast Drillbird is now. Look at how quick he is to go through this, uh, this purple area now because he is just upgraded. That is so incredibly nice. Unfortunately, I believe we uh, we might... We, I don't know. Actually, you know what? I think we might be okay for a little bit longer. Because my shield strength is just that little bit better. So maybe it's just going to enable us to uh, survive for just that little longer. I'm not sure though, because as you can see... Yeah, never mind. <laughs> yeah, those, um, those guys in the... Uh, in the uh in the air right there they were absolutely merciless anyway there we go wave survived 11 when we played for 19 minutes as far as i'm aware a full run a good run can take you about mm, 30 40 50 minutes i think I, i'm not entirely sure but you can see here that our map size was also relatively small and everything select a gadget to keep for your next run and we can actually keep drillbit so we can use Robert from the very start, which is actually amazing. Start another run. I'm actually interested to see what we can do when we start another run. So, um, yeah, we're going to do uh, basically all the same things. I don't think we have... Uh, I don't think we uh, unlocked anything else, unfortunately, because I was just terrible. But, you know, let's, uh, let's try and see what we can do here. We're going to go on normal once again, and we'll see how we do this time around. And that's that's exactly my point. I, I love that kind of game where you basically just have additional things that you can do every single time around. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna put uh, just gonna put Drillbit down, and he can just go and uh, do whatever he wants to do. He can go over that way, and I will. Oh, he's now asleep because we he actually can't go that way. Oh yeah, I am an idiot. All right, yeah, let's let's just tell him to go down there, or to the to the left, or whatever. And then we can just go a little bit over this way. I, I think the best thing we can do is just be a little bit more careful in general. So I will take the resources and I'll just go straight back up. And as far as I'm aware, there's going to be another... There's going to be a guy coming relatively soon. So I'm just going to wait here. <laughs> I'm just going to wait. I mean, technically, I could get the wave counter right now. And I might actually want to do that, but I'm just going to wait as it is. Because Drillbit is down there, he's doing his thing. And I don't really need to worry too much about getting drill progression at the moment. I just want to make sure that we are doing okay in regards to our defense. Because now I have a much greater understanding of when that is actually going to happen. So, 
technically I probably could have drilled for a little bit longer, but I'm I'm paranoid, you know. I'm paranoid, I'm worried, I wanna make sure. Yeah, so here, here we go. This is this is where the enemy's coming. There we go. Alright, so that was easy, right? That was super, super easy. We took zero damage, which is perfect. And we also have resources over here too. So we're just going to take Drillbird here. And I'm just going to throw him back out there. And hopefully he's going to do his thing. Yep, there we go. And I'm just going to get some resources myself. Got another two. And oh, he, f he fell asleep again because he's reached the edge of the... Uh, the edge of the area there okay yeah we're just gonna go straight back down and i'm just gonna put him somewhere else there we go but this is exactly my point this guy is helping us so much now that it really makes a huge difference and you wouldn't think so you know you wouldn't think that that would really make a huge difference after the first run right but it does it really makes a huge difference okay so otherwise uh shall we i i can't get drill but um any upgrades unfortunately so i'm gonna go for Oh, you can improve your jetpack's top speed. That's pretty cool. But I'm going to go for drill strength. I'm actually going to go for drill strength this time around. And I believe we are just about to get attacked. Or we should get attacked kind of soonish. Maybe in the next 10 seconds or so, I think. But I could be... <laughs> I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Let's just see whether that... Yep, there we go. There's the, there's the attack. Okay. And there's going to be, there's not going to be a flying one, but there are going to be two ground, ground units, I guess. Or is that, wait a minute, is that it? Really? Oh, okay, I'm, I'm actually surprised. I, I thought that we were certainly not going to uh, get something like that happening. All right, well, whatever the case, let's put Robert down there. He can do his thing. And I'm going to get some much needed ore. Let's get three of those. I'm going to get the wave counter, I guess. I mean, I'm not a big fan of getting that, to be honest, because I personally feel like maybe I should be able to do it without, but obviously I haven't really played the game that much, so probably be a good idea for me to get the wave counter. There is... Yep, there it is. And I can also get the dome's structural health, but I don't think I really need that, so I can probably just leave that for now i think i can kind of tell when we're losing right i mean it's, it's got cracks all over the dome i suppose but yeah i'm not really going to be able to go anywhere now maybe i can actually go down and just see what robert's doing maybe we can oh yeah here we go hello i'm gonna take two things i don't want to i don't want to risk it too much there we go and now we can get ready. But yeah, you see exactly what the gameplay loop is like. And for me personally, I absolutely love this kind of game. I think it is absolutely wonderful because you have the consistent pressure of enemies coming every single uh, every single wave. And you're going to have to make sure that you have the required resources when you need them to be able to make pro you know actual progress because otherwise you're just going to you're going to remain stagnant and it's going to be very, very difficult to go anywhere. Like, for example, what I did in the previous run, I was really not knowing anything about what I could really do and, and where I could go and, and so on. Okay, so actually, you know what? I don't want Drillbot to go that way. So I'm actually going to be picking him up and I'm going to tell him to go that way instead. Basically, how it, where, wherever you're facing, whenever you release him, that is where he's going to drill. So if you're moving towards the left and you release him, he's going to go to the left. So that really makes a huge difference. Uh, let's get some upgrades. I have five. So let's get... Um, I'm actually thinking about carry slowdown right now because uh, I don't have enough to be able to improve my laser. So I'm going to go for carry slowdown because that's really going to make a big difference in how fast I can take uh, things back. But of course, the jetpack also does a relatively similar thing. So maybe it would have been a good idea to get that. I'm not entirely sure. But you see how powerful my drill is now, by the way. I can literally go through these things extremely quickly. And I'm actually wondering... Hmm. Yeah, maybe I should have gone in a different direction. Yeah, well, never mind. You live and learn. You live and learn. And uh, we're going to start the battle. Let's see what happens. I'd like to increase my uh, my shield strength as well, actually. Hello there. 
There we go, easy enough. And there's a ground one, that shouldn't be too bad. What I really like as well, by the way, is that these ground enemies, they have a delay. They have a pretty significant delay on their attack, at least initially. So basically it allows you a little bit more leeway in, um, in, your, in your defense. So you don't have to be super fast, but it would be um, somewhat helpful, I suppose. But anyway, we're just gonna go here. We're going to place Drobot around there, and he can just do his own thing. And we're going to go this way. You can see how fast I am in comparison to Drobot, because I have drill strength increases. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, it looks as though I'm not finding... Oh, hello. Got we got something right there. You can see I'm basically not slowing down at all when I have resources any further, which is really, really nice. Oh, hello. This is a new gadget, by the way. Could be really useful for us, thank you. Can I can I pick you up? Oh, I can. Um, okay, this is... Mm, I think I will have enough time. I should have enough time to be able to get back. And there we have it. All right. Uh, oh, hello. Okay. So we have the condenser, which adds a machine under the dome that slowly produces water through condensation. We were able to... Um, you know, uh, choose that beforehand instead of drop it, but I decided on the other one. And uh, we also have blast mining here. Adds a machine under the dome that produces blast charges. Carry them into the mines and release to detonate. That might actually be very, very cool. However, I think the condenser might be the more useful option. So I'm going to take that. Oh, this is actually water. Oh, I had no idea. Okay, this is actually water that we are uh, getting. And we can actually use that to uh, to get upgrades as well. So yeah, that's actually super useful in my opinion. Because that basically makes it so that if you find the regular resource, the square resource, you can just go straight back up here. And you're probably going to have a pretty decent amount of water as it is. Because over time, it is of course going to produce water. And it's going to make it just that much easier to gain those upgrades. Especially for Drillbit and various other things like that. That require a slightly higher resource cost. There we go. We took a little bit of damage right there. Took a little bit of damage, but that's that's uh, not too bad in my opinion because we are now going to have the ability to upgrade our shield as well. So I'm very much looking forward to seeing if I can find some resources that actually do provide that. Let me see if I can just go this way. Uh, is that actually a resource that I can pick up or? Yes, it is. Ha ha. Hello there. All right. This is perfect. Can I take all of this? Oh, look at how much more strength I have because of that upgrade. The upgrades actually feel really weighty. I like it. Because usually, you know, sometimes in games when you uh, when you take an upgrade, at least one of the initial ones, it always feels like, oh yeah, okay, I got an upgrade, great. It gives me 1% more damage, you know? It doesn't really feel impactful. But in this case, oh yeah, it is certainly feeling very impactful to me. All right, so I'm thinking we probably want to go for laser damage, right? I mean, surely we want to go for laser damage, or we want to go for more uh, more shield strength. More shield strength or more laser damage. I'm thinking maybe more shield strength, actually. Let's go for more shield strength. There we go. And uh, the enemy is just about to befall us, so let's see what we can do with that. And my shield is going to regenerate ever so slowly, so maybe that's going to be okay. I mean, technically, I would have loved to have gone for jetpack speed, because I could have just zoomed around the underground area. That would have been so nice. But I think maybe it would have been a bit too greedy, possibly. Not entirely sure. But uh, if we just get flying enemies this wave, it should be absolutely fine. If they go, you know, if they actually come in from the same area. No, no, it seems like we're getting some ground enemies as well. This is where I would have loved to have had uh, laser damage. But my shield strength should protect me, kind of. Yeah, it protected me from all damage that I would have taken otherwise. So that's actually kind of good, but obviously I'm going to need to do something uh, kind of drastic. So let me see if I can find some more resources. I mean, we obviously have some over here, very clearly. There we go. Only two? Oh, come on. 
I need more than that. I need much more than that. Okay, let me see if I can go through here. Oh, hello. What's this? Oh, is this actual... What is this? Water? No, <laughs> surely not. Okay, yeah, this is not helping. Oh, hello. This is helping. Hello. Yes. Give me all of this, please. I will take every single... No, I will not take every single one. <laughs> Uh, I, w I wanted so badly to take every single one, but no, I don't have enough strength to be able to do that just yet. And this is very much slowing me down. We have some more water here as well, thanks to our condenser. And the enemies are just about to befall us, but I am very much hoping uh, I will be able to upgrade. Okay, come on now, come on now. There we go, okay. And I love the way that the game actually pauses while you're upgrading. Can you imagine if it didn't pause while you were upgrading? That would be so... <laughs> oh, that would be so harsh. Okay, yeah, so here we go. Um, I have nine of this resource now, so I can basically choose whatever I want. I think I will go for the laser damage. I think that's probably pretty good. And then I will probably go for laser turn speed, possibly. I'm not entirely sure, but well, yeah, I guess we'll see. I think the, the damage is definitely going to be useful here because it does provide an additional stun. I don't know whether you've noticed that, but whenever you're firing, it actually stuns the opponent uh, a little bit. I need to destroy these flying enemies much more than the the ground ones, but we're taking a lot of damage right here, unfortunately. Ooh. Ah, oh, yeah. Um, I don't know. Maybe I made a mistake not going for the, the laser speed. You see? That's the point. May you just got to try these different combinations. You got to try the different combinations, see what works for you, and then just, you know, try your very best to survive in any of these situations. As far as I'm aware, I think the waves are randomized. I, I could be wrong about that, but I think they are randomized. Let me just see what, what upgrades I can get now. Okay, yeah. So this is perfect. So what I can do is I can go for the laser speed. Or we can go for something else. Like use water to manually overcharge your shield. So it absorbs more neck, more damage in the next wave. That could be really useful. But I don't have any additional water at the moment. So that probably wouldn't be that useful. Um, I could also go for this. Reduces the time needed to condense one water. Because now we have more gadgets unlocked. So of course I'm then able to you know, upgrade these as well. So there are more things to um, more things to consider every single time. But I will go for laser speed, I guess. I, I, sh I really want to get, oh, I want to get the uh, the jetpack speed. I really do. I feel like I would be just flying around so incredibly quickly, and it would really make a massive difference. But oh well, not right now. Not right now. We're gonna need to get some more resources. Let me see if I can find some. I really need to go back to where Drillbit is, but I'm being a bit uh, negligent on that. Oh, hello. Perfect. Okay, uh, I think that's probably all I have time for. I really wish I could wake him up somehow, some other way, to be honest, instead of me going all the way over there, but that's the reason why the jetpack speed would be really useful, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would be. Okay. Um, yeah, so now let's have a look-see here. I can get the jetpack speed, or I can get the aiming line. I don't think the aiming line is going to be that useful for me, so I think instead I might go for the production time, or we'll go for the jetpack speed, because I, I've always said, you know, I want the jetpack speed, so I'm going to go for that. It might not be that useful for me at the moment, because obviously I'm just about to head into battle, but I think I've got, I got the laser speed already. I mean, that's kind of good, right? I mean, that's kind of good. Anyway, let's just try and murder these guys as fast as we can. Oh yeah, that is so nice and fast right now. I like it. Unfortunately, these these flying enemies are so incredibly damaging. They really are. But they die super fast as well. So that's kind of nice. Okay, how, how fast do we... Ooh, look at how fast we're flying now. Pretty good. I like it. This actually makes a big difference to how fast we can go over to Drillbot now as well. So we don't really need to worry too much about where he's going and what he's doing. So I can just basically put him wherever. And we need to go... Oh, wait a minute. Is there something here? No, it wasn't. Oh, well, never mind. 
yeah we're gonna need we're gonna need more drill strength for this area as well because you can see it's taking two hits instead of just one now oh this is taking way too long this is not a good idea for drillbot to be here actually i'd like him to be somewhere else oh you know what i'm getting super carried away as well i don't know whether you've noticed that but <laughs> what a classic yeah that is exactly what happens when I enjoy a game, I just get absolutely carried away. And uh, maybe you will too. There's a link in the description if you want to check out Domekeeper. It uh, comes out on uh, September 27th. And we got some more water right here. And uh, yeah, maybe, maybe you'll pick up some water as well. Yes, indeed. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time.